Hello everyone. Today we'll go through token authentication requirements for Git operations. So beginning August 13, 2021, uh, the Git will no longer accept passwords uh, when authenticating Git, Git operations on github.com. So to perform any Git operation uh, like uh, cloning a repository, pushing, pulling the code, so uh, Git would no, no longer accept the password based authentication. You would have to use the personal access token. So uh, I am op have opened this GitHub blog. So they have written that these following customers will not be affected by this change. So uh, yeah, and uh, uh, and uh, you can enable the two-factor authentication uh, to make your account more secure. But in this tutorial, we will uh, create a new access token, and then we will clone a repository and push our code to the to one repository. So let's start. So let me log into github.com. So yeah, I've already logged in. And let me go to my repositories. Click on new. Test. Let me create a private repository. I will not include a readme file. Then create a repository. So, yeah, now the repository has been created successfully. Let me clone this repository HTTPS link. And now let me go back to the, my terminal. Now let me change the directory to desktop. Uh, now. So now I'm on my terminal window. Let me use the glit clone command. This is the URL which we copied from GitHub. So now it's asking me for the username. So let me type in the username. Now it's asking for the password, but let me enter my password and see what happens. So it's saying uh, uh, support for password authentication was removed on August 13. So please use a personal ac access token instead. So let us see what is a personal access token. So uh, on the github.com, you can uh, go to settings. In the settings, click on developer settings. Now you'll see an option of personal access tokens. Click on generate new access token. Uh, you can give it any name. I've given my token. I want it active for seven days. I want to control the repository and I want to read write the repository. And yeah, I think I don't need any more permissions or scopes. So let me just generate the token. And now you can see the token has been generated. So don't copy paste this token since I'll uh, create a new token after this. So what you can do is you can copy this token and go back to your uh, command from window. You can just uh, use the git clone command in the username type the type your username. And now in the password uh, type uh, use the personal access token which you just copied. So you won't see anything as the password and the access token is displayed. Click on enter. And now you can see uh, the clone has been done and it's giving us a warning that you have cloned an empty repository. So let us push some of our code in this repository. So this is the new repository which is being created. So I have this LWC folder in on my desktop. Let me just put, put this LWC folder and close it. Now let's go back to my terminal. Now type git status. Oh, okay. So you need to change the uh, directory first. So the folder name was test personal. Yeah, 
So now type git status. So we'll see this LWC folder is showing red. Now add our files to the staging area by adding the git add dot command. Now if you do git status, you will see everything is on green, which means uh, now it's being tracked. Now use git. Let me just clear the work screen first. Uh, now you have to commit. So for that use git commit and give a message. Now uh, finally use the git push command which would push your data to the repository, your repository. Now you can see that uh, you can go cl click on my re your repositories and this is the repository and you can see that LWC files have been added to the repository. So yeah, uh, I wanted to show how to use the personal access token for this session. So yeah, I think we are done. Thanks. Thanks everyone for your time.